This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, we're on. Okay, I'm going to have a shout out to Rabbi Sai. As we prepare for Parashas Toldos. So Yaakov Inu comes in, he hops the blessings, and he slips out just in the nick of time. And Rivka tells him, Look, you know, you better get out of here. Go to my uncle, go to Haran. And you'll stay with him a little bit. You'll stay with him a couple of days. Yamim achodim. Yamim days. Achodim. What does achodim mean? A few. Arashar toshav chamas achicha until your brother comes down. Says Rashi, what does achodim mean? Muatim. A few. Question is, how many years did she mean? Doesn't say. We have a Gemara Masechta Baba Basra. Tanya, Umru Alav al Binyamin at Sadiq. They said about Binyamin the righteous. Shahayu Mamuna Akupa Shotstaka. He was a Gabit Sadaka, he was appointed over a Gabai over the Sadaka. Pamachas Basa Ishilfanov. One time a woman came before him. Bishne Bitsoiris in the years of famine. Amr Allah, she says to him, Rebbe Parnasani, support me. Amr Allah, he said to her, Ho'avoida, I take an oath. Shein bekupa shotstaka klum. There's nothing left in the fund. Amr Allah, she said to him, Rebbe, you may not have a Parnasani, I read Yisha B'Shuv and Amesim. We're all going to die. Amr Allah, so he gave his own money. Liyamim chala venata lamas. Days passed, and he was going to die. Amru Malachi Asher Sufnei HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Rebani Shalaylam. Ata Amarta, Kalam HaKayim, Nefesh Achaz Yisrael, Kilu Kayim, Oilam Olei. You say, in the Torah, anyone who sustains one Jewish life, it's as if they sustain the whole world, Ubin Yamin HaTzadik, Shehechia Yishav Shebanei HaYamos, B'Shan Mu'atois, Halalu. And this guy who... Preserved and saved eight people. Eight people! You're going to let him die? Miyad Karulai Gazardinai. So they tore up his decree. And how many years did they give him? Tana? Haisifulai Esrim Ushtayim Shanashnasa. They added 22 years to his life. Okay, nice to know. But the Gemara says they gave him 22 years. What exactly is the significance of 22? Why didn't they give him. 22 and a half. Why didn't they give him 17? 101, you know? 101 is a good number. Says the Marsha, Hatzdaka hi echa mi ma'avire ha-gzeira. Hatzdaka is one of those things that removes the like we say, Parakam de Rosh Hashanah, v'hai sifu le'chaf v'shanim. Why? Dematsinu shehein nikroi shanim u'atas. We find in the Torah, the number 22 is called a few. Where? Berivka, by Rivka, Sha'amra li'akoiv, You'll stay with him a few years. Dahainu muatim. Dahainu muatim, which are a few. Kepirish Rashi. Vahunis akiv sham, and he stayed there ad bayay la'aviv until he came to his father, chaf beishanim. So when Rivka told um, Yaakov, Vyashafta imay yamim achadim, how many years did Yaakov end up staying? 22 years. He ended up working for um, seven years by Lavan, and then another seven years, and then six years, and then two years, so altogether, 22 years. Says Marsha, that means we find that what does a few mean? A few means, how many is a few? 22. So that is why they gave Binyamin HaTzadik 22 years, because 22 is a few. Another example of this we find in Shas. The Gemara says in Masech David Zara, Chav Heya Med Beis to Chav Vav Amin Aleph. Rav Menasha have a Azal the Beit Torasa. Rav Menasha went to Beit Torasa. Pogu Beit Ganovi. He met Ganovim. Amrule they said to him, La An Where are you going? Amar Lahen he said to them, La Pompadisa going to Pompadisa. Kimata the Beit Torasa. When he got to Beit Torasa, Parash. They separated. Amrule, they said to him, Tamida di Yehuda Ramat, you're the student of Rabbi Yehuda the deceiver. Amar Lahu, he said to them, Yadisule, 
You know him as a deceiver? He's Rabbi Yehuda. Why are you calling him a deceiver? You should be in Cherem. So he put them, these guys in Cherem. So what happened? They went, they tried to steal for 22 years. And they were not successful. So they realized that what's the reason why they were not successful? Because they were in Cherem. When they realized they were in Cherem, they came back to Rav Menashe, and they asked to have their Shamta annulled. Oh, and there was one weaver who didn't come, and he, since he didn't get the Cherem off, he was eaten by a lion. So it's a good idea, by the way, just eat Satev. If you happen to be in Cherem, you should try to get it off. Because you never know what could happen. Ah, so that means they went out and they tried to steal. That means that was their career. That's what they were involved in. And they went to steal for 22 years. And after 22 years of not being successful, they realized, you know, hey, there's something wrong over here. There's something... In other words, it, should, it shouldn't take more than 22 years. It shouldn't take more than 22 years to develop the skills necessary to be a successful robber just in case you wanted to know. So don't give up right away. If you want to be a successful robber, try it for at least 22 years. Where he was a weaver. Well, a guy, one of the people who they put in Chey, who Rav who Menashe put in Chey was a weaver. One of the Ganovim? One of the Ganovim was a weaver. On the side, I mean, you can't just do Ganovim, you have to have a side job also. He was a weaver. And a weaver on the side. Don't go too so far. <laughs> so um, it comes out. It comes out. Also, very strange over here that they embarked upon this career of weaving for how long? Twenty-two years. Again, comes the marsha, and the marsha says, "Shashir chav beishnin, nikru yamim achadim." Twenty-two years is called a few. Where do we find that? Gabi Rivka, Sham Raliyakov, v'yashavta imay yamim achadim, and v'hu nesakiv sham chav beishana. The same thing, Yamim Muatim, uh, 22 years is called Yamim Muatim, where? In the Gemara and Baba Basra, by Bin Yamin Hatzadik. In other words, how long are you going to try something for? You know, the answer is, for a short amount of time. So these Ganavim knew. That Alpi Das Taira, what is a short amount of time? 22, 22 years. years. Like Rivka told Yaakov. Like Binyamin HaTzadik had it added on to his days, 22 years. So from all of these three cases, what do we see? That whether it be in Chumash, when Rivka spoke to Yaakov, whether it be the amount of years added on to the life of Binyamin HaTzadik, whether it be the Ganovim, who Rav Menashe put in Cherem, 22 is a number which is often selected as a short amount of time. So there's a new Sefer that came out that my friend Avi Feiner bought for me as a gift. And the Megadam Chadashim is usually on Shas, but um, he wrote a commentary on Chumash as well. So he points out from these Marshas, the number 22 was a common number to denote uh, a short passage of time. If you want to embark upon something, you want to try something, then the number 22 was considered a common number. Just a few more examples in Shas where we find the number 22 being used, where the Gemara tells us about Haman. Right, you know Haman. This week's Parsha. Where is Haman in this week's Parsha? No? I've only been giving share seven years. Where is Haman in this week's Parsha? Haliteni na min. Haliteni na min. The Balaturim says, Haman. Rosh Hashanah is Haman, right? Because we know Yaakov is the Kane, Yaakov is the windpipe, and Esav is the Veshet, the food pipe. Yaakov is Hakoyal Kol Yaakov, the windpipe. Esav is the Veshet, the food pipe. Right? Because we know that what does it say? What does the Targum Uncle say? Vayivez Esav es Abachayra. What does Targum say? Vishat. Veshet. You got to watch out with your Veshet, by the way. You don't want to. You don't want to get too carried away with the Veshet. Because if you... Right? The, the Shalak Kodesh says, Chacham, Einav, Bereishai. A Chacham has eyes, Bereish, Vav. That the Vav begins... Starts the word, Veshet. Veshet begins with a Vav. 
A chacham enov b'roishoi. He puts the vav in the beginning. Because you've got to watch out. If you get too carried away with your veshet, then the vav goes to the end. Instead of being veshet, you become a shaita. And if you really get carried away with the veshet, then the shlaka says that the vav starts getting very big and elongates. And instead of shaita, you become a satan. And you become... That's why Adam Arishain, he died when he ate the wrong thing. That's why when the Kaisal ate at the Sud of Satan Satan Okay. Which was it Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, okay. anyway, Haman was a barber for how long? Tana. Haman Sapar Shal Kfar Kartsam Haya. He was the barber of Kartsam. How long? Asrim Ushtayim Shana. 22 years. Why 22? That's how long it takes to try something out. 22 is a short amount of time. Or another Gemara. The Gemara in Sanhedrin, Daflam and Aleph Amid Aleph. I'm sure you remember. Tan Rabbanon, Minayin Lech Shayetze Lo Yoimar Harini Mizakim Chaveri Mechavin. If you're part of a Bezdin, and let's say Bezdin comes out with a verdict of guilty, doesn't mean it was unanimous. It could be it was two to one, or or five to two, or six to one. If you had said innocent, you can't walk out of Bezdin and say, I said innocent, but my friend said guilty. You can't say. Um, they, they outnumbered me. Why? You're not do that. If you do that, you're over on Rachilos Leiselech Rachel Beamecha. And the pasuk says Hoylech Rachel Megalasaid. Says the Gemara, there was a Talmud who the rumor was that he was not confidential. He let the court decisions out. Um, one time, after 22 years, he told people he told people about the verdict. So if Ami kicked him out, he says, this Dayan is uh, not confidential. So let's understand, why did this Talmud say it after 22 years? The answer is, t- until 22 years, it's a short amount of time. Once 22 years pass, he thought it's already a long time, showing uh, he forgot what happened. Or let's try another one, look at number 11. I'm a Rabbi Barav Shila. Hani Tabachi Dehutzal. Actually, this Gemara is talking about any Kaihanim here? No? <laughs> okay. There were kay- the halacha is that, you know, today we learned about Matnas Kahuna. The halacha is a Kayin also has to give Matnas Kahuna. So the, the butchers in Hutzel were not giving the Matnas Kahuna. They were in Cherem for how long? Wow, 22. Amazing that you got it. 22. <laughs> or another Gemara. The Gemara says, Amar of Levi, If you have a good dream, then you could expect, try to anticipate it happening for how long? 22 years. Minalan from Yosef. Because it says, Eilat Tadus Yaakov, Yosef. Yosef was 17 years old. And how old was Yosef when he stood before Paroi? What? 30. Min shivsari atlasin, kama from 17 to 30, is how much? 13. Has retri- uh, have its last three. Vishev to shiva. Seven of famine. Seven of se- um, seishi- satiation. Satiation. The tarti de kafna. And two of famine. Hachaf So Yosef had dreams. And how long did it take to be fulfilled? 22 years. Okay, very interesting. We're not done. Obviously. Right, there are two more sheets here. Okay. You heard me, but if you look at the Gemara, you look at Achadim, the three middle letters, Chesed Al-Yudah, 22. Okay. I don't have to do with the Aleph and the Mem, but the three middle letters. Okay. Is 22 relevant to us today? They have all these different Makoros. Well, let's see. There are 22 letters in the alphabet. There are 22 letters in the alphabet. Yes. Very good. Yeah, there are. Two examples of the 22. Okay. <laughs> Rabbi said, look at number 13. Shal Rabbi Shmuel es Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Shmuel es Rabbi Akiva. Kishahayu Mahalchen Badarach. When Rabbi Akiva was going on the road. Amar Rabbi Shmuel says to Rabbi Akiva, 
Ata sheshimashta es nacham ish gamzu. You served nacham ish gamzu. How long? Chaf beishana. So Rabbi Kiva served nacham ish gamzu twenty two years. Shahaya doyresh kol esin shabat tayra. Rabbi Kiva darshened all the esin and the tayra. So Rabbi Shmuel asks, Es hashamayim v'yas haaretz mahaya doyresh bahen. So how many years did Rabbi Akiva serve Nachum Gamzu? 22. Unbelievable crowd we have over here. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, there was somebody by the name of Nehemiah Imsuni. Look at number 14, a Yushami. <laughs> Nehemiah Imsuni. <laughs> Shimesh is Rabbi Akiva. Esrim v'shtayim shana. He served Rabbi Akiva 22 years. Vilimdu esen v'gamen ribuyim. He taught that esen gam is a riboy. Achen v'rakin miutin. Amar le. So Nechemi Amsuni says to Kiva, Mahu ha'hein dechsev es Hashem lekachatira. So says Nechemi Amsuni to Rabbi Akiva, What do you do with the pasuk es Hashem lekachatira? Amar le. Oisai v'yes tayrasai. Fear the Torah scholar. Fear his learning. Amar of Rabbi Isai. Isn't it a Pella that Rabbi Akiva served his Rabbi Nachamesh Gamzu 22 years and Nechemi Amsuni served Rabbi Akiva his Rabbi 22 years? So we're going to feature a Sefer and a Gadol today that I don't think we ever spoke about before. And that's saying something, right? <laughs> his name is, and the name of the Sefer is Matas Ka. Then his name was Rav Matasio Strashun. Who is Rav Matasio Strashun? He was born in the year Tav Kuf Ayin Ches. That means 1818. <coughs> Where is Strashun? You know? And he was a tremendous guy. He was a tremendous guy. He is the son of Rav Shmuel Strashun. Who is Rav Shmuel Strashun? None other than the guy in the Rashash. The Rashash was a very unique commentary on Shas. There is no daf in Shas that the Rashash does not have a Hagan, one of the only Mepharshim. And the Rashash was a very wealthy man. He was a very, uh, he was a businessman. But let me tell you how he did his business. You see, his father in law um, was a wealthy man, and uh, she was an only daughter. PhD. And he took him. He took him as a son-in-law, and he gave him his uh, his tavern. However, it was, the tavern was destroyed in the uh, Russian-French War, um, and they had to flee to Vilna. However, Rav Shmuel's wife was a very uh, adept and uh, sharp businesswoman, so she opened up what is called a kalbay. Kalbay is, you know, a general store. And she sold everything. And Rav Shmuel was a very good businessman. He never in his life stepped foot in the store. He had absolutely no idea what was going on in the store. He, all he did was sat in the basement all day and night. He didn't know how much money came in, how much money left. Everybody knows him as a good businessman. That's a good businessman. <laughs> okay? And his wife was completely in charge of the store. Well, she had a deal with certain soldiers. Uh, the, uh, the general would come in um, and she ba- he would basically buy on credit. And at the end of the year, he would uh, pay back. So one year the general comes to the wife and the general says to the wife, look, I'm uh, moving, um, being stationed elsewhere, so I want to get a receipt that I'm paying you now and I don't owe, I don't owe you any money. And um, he says to her, look, you're a woman. I don't trust women. women women's uh, signature doesn't mean anything in this world. Obviously not politically correct, but that was reality back then. He says, I want you to bring your husband here. And let him sign off that I don't owe you any money. So she goes to the base matter, and uh, she goes to Rashash. Rashash says, what do you want? He says, you know, I need your signature, otherwise we're going to lose a lot of money. He says, well, what do you want? I'm going to share. Wait till after share. So after share, he says, look, I need your signature. He said, listen, lady, if I would be dead, what would you do? You'd wake me up from my grave, and you'd tell me to come to the store? The Torah says, Adam ki yamos When it comes to Torah, you have to envision yourself that you're dead. Figure out an Aitsa, or we'll lose the money. What can I tell you? I don't go into the store. I don't have anything to do with it. What about so she, showing bias with his wife? Exactly. What about it? And he went, um, she went back to the guy, oh, the general, and she him. tells the general, look, my husband doesn't want to come. He's busy learning. The general was very impressed, and she took 
his signature. So that's the business acumen of the Rashash. Rashash has obviously her signature. The Rashash had absolutely nothing to do with his business. Anyway, the Rashash had a son. His son was named Ramatasio. Ramatasio was a child genius. By the time he was 13 years old, he was known as a tremendous guy. To the point where the Talmide Chachamim of the generation would um, were very impressed with him. I'll just give you one example. Um, first of all, the Rabbi Yitzhak of Elijah, from the time this kid was very young, already predicted that he was Asad Legadlus. In fact, when, the ta- when Rabbi Yitzhak was a little kid, he wrote on a Mishnah Lamelech. The Mishnah Lamelech appears in Hilchas Avelos, Paragimah Halacha Aleph. The Mishnah Lamelech was, is Mesopic about a dead body that's been embalmed, that has no more flesh, but has only bones, if it is matame. That's the suffix of the Mishnah Lamelech. And this little kid, Rav Matasyahu, wrote in his footnotes, and I'll explain what that means in a minute. He says, how could you say that a, an embalmed body is not matame? The Pasuk says about Yosef, Vayisem ba'aroin, Vayachan to Yosef, Vayisem ba'aroin. And nevertheless, it says in Bamidbar, there were people who were Tamei Lenefesh. And what were they Tamei with? The Atzmois Yosef. So we see very clearly that Atzmois are Metamei. So if you look at the Hagois of the Cheshek Shlomer, Rosh Hashanah Koen Vilna, the end of Seder Tarois, in Oyalois Parak Beis Mishnah Aleph, he brings this Ha'ara in the name of Ramatis Yoshtrashun, Hagoin Hamaforsam. <laughs> now, Rav Matasio Shtashun would not would write many articles in various journals, and he would sign his name Vehu Vehu. And until after many many years, nobody knew who whose signature it was. I mean Vehu Vehu. So what did he mean? Because um, in the Mishnah and Shkolim Parake Mishnah Aleph, it says like this. It says Vehu Mat Masya Ben Shmuel. So by one Masya, it says the word Vahu. And in Yuma, Paragimel, Mishnah Aleph, it says, Masya ben Shmuel, Heyer p'nei kol ha-mizrach ad shebechavroin, Vahu oimar hein. So two times in Mishnayis, randomly, it says the word Vahu. So he disguised his name as Vahu Vahu. Now he was a tremendous librarian. And this is where the historical part of his biography comes in. He was one of the great all-time librarians anywhere. There was in Vilna a famous library called the Strashun Library. You can see pictures of it today in Rabbi Wine's book. There's a picture of it. And Rabbi Matisio had uh, he had two daughters, who Nebuch both passed away, so he was left without any children. And he coined the following expression: "Oyev svarim la yizba svarim." You know, "Oyev kesef la yizba kesef." He said, "Those who love books will never have enough books," and he would say. The, the, for the uh, maxim of Rabbi Yitzchak Kan Panton, who is the Rebbe of the Rebbe of the Beis Yosef, who says, Ein magas ad magim. You're only as smart as the number of svarim that you have. Anyway, Rev, Rev uh, Matasio built up a very extensive library. After all, he didn't have any children. And what's very famous about his library is that he wouldn't write a necessary svarim. He wrote some, but his svarim were all filled in the margin with his notes. Now, I just want to tell you, he was somewhat of a controversial personality. Um, he was very educated in many, many languages. He wrote books in math. And he was a religious, enlightened individual. So he was very, he was somewhat connected with the Haskalah. He was always a goin oilam and a tzaddik and a tamachacham. And at his levaya, none other than Rabbi Yitzchak Kachan Inspector was uh, the maspid. However, what, what, we're, what happened was when he passed away, he had no heirs. So what's going to be with his library? So it became a, a landmark in Vilna. It became a, a historic uh, li- library. And over the years, unfortunately, many people who visited that library, they would go in and walk away with Svarim, with the handwritten notes of, of Ram Matasyal Shtashun. Basically, in, uh, during the Holocaust, the Nazis uh, managed to destroy much of the Shtashun library, but not all of it. 
Today you could go to YIVO or Hebrew University. They have thousands of books of Rav Matasio Strashun. And uh, also Hebrew University has many of his books. If I'm not mistaken though, in the back of the Sefta Babavasra, we have notes from Rav Matasio Strashun. Let's see if they're here. Yes. Okay. In the back of the Rashash, the Sefta Babavasra, Hagois v'chidushim at the Sirah Ostrashon. Okay. He wrote a commentary on Medrash Rabbah called Matas Ka. And you have it over here on your sheets in number 16. So he, only, only someone like him could pick up on something like this. That he feels that it's odd or somewhat worthy of our attention that Rabbi, Yeshua, Rabbi Akiva served Nachum Gamzu 22 years and Nehemiah Amsuni served Rabbi Akiva 22 years. So he was like a tremendous Bucky Nifla. And he points out that this concept that Rabbi, that Rabbi Akiva served Nachum Gamzu is mentioned in a number of places. And elsewhere in Shas we find Shemayin Ha'am Sunni and Nehemiah Ha'am Sunni were the ones who were doirej kol esen Shabbatayra. So wait a second. Rabbi Akiva served Nachamish Gamzu. Nachamish Gamzu was doirej all the esen in the Torah. But elsewhere we find that who that Nehemiah Ha'am Sunni was doirej all the esen in the Torah. Ad Shabbat Rabbi Akiva. And then we find that Rabbi Akiva served Nechem Yoham Sunni 22 years. Says Rav Matasyo Shrashun, Nir Ali, Shenochum Ish Gamzu Hu Hu Nechem Yoham Sunni. That there's a Gersa mistake here. Not that Nechem Yoham Sunni served Rabbi Akiva 22 years. Rabbi Akiva served Nechem Yoham Sunni 22 years. So then the question is, he served two different people 22 years, Nechem Ish Gamzu and Nechem Yoham Sunni. Well, look at the word Nehemia and look at the word Nacham. Basically the same word. And Gamzu, let's talk about that. Ayin and Gimel are interchangeable, especially to the Eidos HaMizrach. Anybody here from Eidos HaMizrach? Okay, good. So then so we could say nobody will know. Lefi says, just joking, just, <laughs> says Ramazesho Shashun, the Gimel and the Ayin are interchangeable. Gam, Am. So, Gamzu, Amsuni, it's the same word, they're the same guy, and all you need to do is flip around the Gersa, that not um, Nehemiah Amsuni served Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva served Nehemiah Amsuni, Umishkal Amsuni, Amsuni means Yachas Mekomi, that's just a place, and Gamzu also was where he lived. So very interesting, the Sefer Megadam Chadashem doesn't buy it, he said, that um, he quotes Rav Matasil Shrashun in the Sefer Matas Ka. He also says that Rav Matasil Shrashun says in the Sefer Nesiv Oisoylam, I never heard of it, neither did Hebrew books or Oisar HaChachma, but maybe he did write it. He says like this, Lani Daiti, it's not Mestaber, that Nechemiah Sunni and Nochem Gamzer are the same guy. But rather, the Pshat is like this. Back then in the day, the number 22 was a typical number that people would do things. Look, even Haman was a barber for 22 years. A Shamta would last for 22 years. So what's wrong with saying that Rabbi Kiva's Rebbe was Nachamesh Gamzu, and he served his Rebbe the classic amount of time, which was 22 years. And Rabbi Kiva's Talmud was Nechem Yom Sunni, and he also, served his, uh, ta- he also served his Rebbe for 22 years. Now, what um, here's where I come in. I have you know like a small little a little small contribution here, and that is the Chafetz Chaim and the Avas Chesed talks about the fact that why did why did um, Binyamin Atzadik live for 22 years? Like what, why did Menashe Why did they give him 22 years? So the Chafetz Chaim writes in a footnote because he was uh, Mekayim the pasuk. Look at number 20. He was Mekayim the Indian of These two psukim actually contain in them 22 words. 
And in the Zchus of Bimikayim, the mitzvah of Hechzaktabai, which is written in the Torah in 22 words, therefore Binyamin HaTzadik was given 22 years. Says the Chavetz Chaim, and here is where the Chavetz Chaim quotes another, another Gemara of 22, which none of the above-mentioned Mepharshim mentioned, and that is Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Why was Achav Zoycha to be king for 22 years? Because he honored the Torah. How many letters are the Torah written in? So this is another, like Dr. Penner mentioned, this is another significance of the number 22 that the Torah was given with Chaf Beis Oisiyos. Bottom line is that when Rivka tells um, Yaakov Avinu, is there a test in the Torah? What? The says, is there a test in the Torah? Of course, there's a test. There are many tests. There are thousands of tests in the Torah. Uh, which Torah are we talking about? The Nasser's or the five books of Moses? Five books of Moses. Yeah. Is there a test in the Luchas? Only one of the Luchas, right? Okay. So, the problem here is, what, we're, what the Marsha is saying, is that the words, Yamim Achadim, refer to how many years? 22. The problem is, in all likelihood, when Rivka said to Yaakov, you're going to stay with Lavan for Yamim Achadim, by the way, we need the air, air conditioner because people fall asleep when it's hot. So I don't care if it's December. Air conditioner is for all times of the year. Did he have in mind 22? What? Yeah. What? Did Rivka have in mind 22? Air conditioning is Lamala Menazman. It's something. What? It's only 83 degrees. It's only it's 84 and a half degrees. No wonder. Oh, what? I don't care why it's 84 degrees. You know, you worry why. Let's just get it down to a good. What? Did Rivka have in mind 22 years? That's what the Marsha seems to be saying that Rivka had in mind 22, uh, 22 years. But Lachayra, what what did Rivka have in mind when he said to Yaakov, "You're going to stay with Love on Yamim Achadim." Look at number 21. Yaakov loved Rachel. So he said, I'm going to work seven years. Zokt Rashi! Evod Choshev Ashanim! Heim Yomim Achodim! They were the few days. In other words, when, according to Rashi, when Rivka said Yomim Achodim, she meant, Rashi says openly, seven years, not 22 years. And the Pasuk even says, Vayavod Yaakov Rachel Sheva Shanim, Vayyubein of Kiyomim Achadim. Those were the short days. In fact, we find in the Torah just the opposite. That 22 is not a little. We find 22 is actually a lot. Vayikra Yaakov Simloisav. Yaakov tore his clothing. Vayosim Sangmasav. Vayis Abel Albanoi Yomim Rabim. Does Rashi say, Chaf Shana? Wow. Wait a second. How could the Marsha say, Yomim Achadim is a few short, is 22? Just the opposite. Yomim Achadim has to be seven years. Yomim Rabim is 22 years. So it's a little bit of a question. Yeah, well, no, so the Marsha said, we see from here, 22 is Muat. But yet, L'Chayro, when Rashi said Muad, he was referring to seven years. Because we find elsewhere that 22 is a lot. This is the question of the Sefer Magadim Chadashim. And I leave it to you to try to think about. Here the Marsha is pointing out the fact that 22 is a little. L'Chayro, when Rivka said, you're going to stay with Lavan, Yamim Achadim L'Chayro, he meant seven years. Because we find elsewhere, Yamim Rabim is 22 years. Let me just share with you what the other Rishayim say about the words Yamim Achadim. The Ibn Ezra says Yamim means not days, but years. Kama Yamim Tiag Ulasai. By the way, where did we have an explanation for why days means years? By by the Rifka when they were didn't they want to stay around Yamim? Yamim Oyasar, yeah. right? Yamim means a year, and Asar means ten months. Remember the Mal- the Malbim in Parshas Nayach. The Malbim said that there are different kinds of days. There is the day of the Earth. The Earth takes a day to spin around, but there's also the day of the Sun. 
the amount of time it takes for the earth to go around the sun. So that's a year. That's a, a Sunday. A Sunday is a year. So that's why the year, days could be referring to years. And says the Ibn Ezra, so if Yamim are years, and Achadim are a few, Pchusim Eser, less than ten. That fits into the way Rashi says it, that the Yamim Achadim refer to seven. Then Rabbi said there's a Chizkuni. The Chizkuni says, Yamim Achadim, a few days, Shana Echas, one year. One year. But why would you characterize the Yom Ha'chadim? Why don't you just say Shana? Yom Ha'chadim, a few days, a year. So comes a Vilna Gain. This is not a very common Vilna Gain. It's hard to find it. It's in the Sefer Genuzois Hagra. It's Geshmak a piece. You ready for this? It was worthwhile to come this week to hear it. Says the Gra. According to Rashi, Yom Ha'chadim are seven years. How do seven years fit into Yom Ha'chadim? So listen to this. <coughs> says the Goin, Chazal tell us, Rabbi Shem Reichai says, Shabbos comes to Rebbe He says, Rebbe Shalom, everybody has a partner, and I have no partner. So Hashem says to Shabbos, Sha'am, Klal Yisrael will be your partner. So what does that mean? Shabbos, are from those few days that have no partner. Now we know the word Yamim can mean a year. Think about it this way. Of all the days of the week, Sunday has Monday, Tuesday has Wednesday, Thursday has Friday, they're not loners. The only loner of the week is Shabbos. Yamim means a year, and Achada means of Shabbos. <coughs> what does that mean? How long would it take to make a year worth of Shabbos? Well, let's think for a second. How many Shabbosos are in a year? Oh, which year? How many so, Shabbosos uh, are in a year in 354 days? Roughly well, in 50, 350 days, there are 50 Shabbosos. Right? 7 times 50. So you have another 4 days of the year. And in those 4 days times 7 is 28. So in other words, every year has 50 Shabbosos. So in year 1 is 50, year 2 is 50, year 3 is 50, year 4 is 50, year 5 is 50, year 6 is 50, year 7 is 50. So in 7 years, you have 350 Shabbosos. Because it's sleep year. One second. In 7 years, you have 50 Shabbosos, assuming that the days are 350 days in a year. But they're 354 days. 4 times 7 is 28. That gets you another... For Shabbosos. So after how many years do you have a year's worth of Shabbos? Seven. Seven years. So that's what Rivka tells um, Yaakov Avinu. You know how long you're going to stay with Lav- Lavan? Yamim Achadim. A year's worth of Shabbos. What's a year's worth of Shabbos? Exactly what Rashi says. Seven years. Because in seven years you have a year's worth of Shabbos. Rabbi let's end with this. In the Sefer Master Rekach on Parshas Bereshis, he brings down the following idea. That why did Rabbi Akiva serve Nachum Ish Gamzu 22 years? Because Yaakov Avinu was in the base love on 22 years, that he was not Mechabed, his father. And we know Rabbi Akiva is a Nitzutz of Yaakov Avinu. The Oisios of Akiva are the same Oisios as Yaakov. And therefore, to be Mesaki in those 22 years of Yaakov Avinu, Rabbi Akiva served his Rabbi Nachum Ish Gamzu <laughs> 22 years because God will tell Matayra, Yosem, keep it up, Aim. Rabbi Isai, have a great Shabbos. What? You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.